Alright guys, whenever I see people controlling cards, um, it's very unprofessional and very incomplete. Uh, they'll often just do a double undercut, or cut packets off the top, or do the swing cut, swivel cut. Um, but basically, they're missing a good shuffle. Now, the overhand shuffle is a shuffle that everyone knows. Most people can do it, but not many people can control the cards with it. Uh, so it's a really good convincer that the cards are actually mixed up. But really, with a bit of practice, you can control a stock of cards on top. Okay. Or on bottom with this shuffle. Alright. Now, this is right out of the book, um, Expert at the Card Table. But um, some of this can be hard to understand with just words and pictures, so... I thought it would be helpful um, if I made a video about it. Um, so first I'll teach you the overhand shuffle if you don't already know it. So position for shuffle. Um, you're going to hold the cards in kind of a vertical grip, like this. Uh, with your first finger along the front, your middle and ring finger on the side, and your pinky on the back, uh, waiting to catch an in out card but we'll talk about that later. Uh, so getting into the shuffle, the way you pick up the deck with your right hand is kind of like in between either your sec first and second fingers and your thumb, or your second and third fingers and your thumb, and your finger stays up here and helps square up the cards and stuff. Uh, I do it like this, but this way it works too. Um, so getting into the shuffle, uh, there are two ways you can do this next part. Both work. You can pull a small packet off with your thumb, and then shuffle off, finish the shuffle, or you can do what I do where you pick up everything but a small packet and then shuffle off. Personally, I prefer the second one. Anyways, to shuffle off, you keep you either keep dropping small packets or pulling off small packets. Okay, until you're out of cards. Now if you're dropping the cards, your thumb should be resting on the cards and should simply move out of the way when you're about to release the packet and kind of clamp down on the packet and return to it when it falls. So kind of like this. Okay? And that's the overhand shuffle. Um, now there's one other thing you need to know before we get into how to control uh, the cards with the overhand shuffle. So, you need to know how to run cards like this. Now all you're doing when you run cards is you're taking one card off at a time over and over and over with your thumb. So pick up the bottom packet or pull one off the top and pull cards off with the pad of your thumb okay just like this All right. so a good way to practice this is to try to run cards with the whole deck so instead of picking up a packet or pulling a packet off you pull one card off of your thumb and keep running the other cards off now don't start doing this fast but your long-term goal should be to speed it up a bit it's going to make the shuffle more convincing if you're trying to uh, deceive with it. In the beginning though, just focus on learning it correctly and then speed it up. Uh, you're not going to start shuffling like that fast. Take it slow at first, really learn the mechanics of it, and then speed it up. Okay, so now let's get into how to control cards with the overhand shuffle. Alright, the first control I'm going to teach you is a basic uh, top stock control, which basically means you're shuffling the cards, but you're retaining a set of cards on top. So it looks like this. And with that, we still have our five of spades on top. Alright, so to retain top stock, you, you could start with the cards in the grip we talked about earlier. Take your first packet off, and whatever your first packet is, the, these are the cards that are going to come back to the top. Your first packet is your top stock. So all these cards will be seen again back at the top. Then you're going to run a card, but you're going to move your right hand back about half an inch or so, and then pull the card down. This is called an in-jog, okay? And your pinky is going to contact that card at the back of the deck, just like that, okay? This will help you uh, locate this card later in the shuffle. And then you shuffle the rest of the cards into your left hand, keeping your pinky on that card. 
right? Now all you have to do is cut the top stock back to the top. So just grab all the cards below the injog card and then throw them in one chunk on top. Okay? And that will bring your first packet back to the top. And then we still all have all these. Now with that shuffle, you're actually only shuffling half the deck. And people might notice that. Um, so this next version solves that problem. It retains top stock and shuffles the whole deck at the same time. Just like that. Uh, and the nice thing is it's pretty much the same as the last one, uh, with only one extra convincer that the shuffle's legit. So, take your first packet off, in Jaga card, keep it with your pinky, and then shuffle off. Um, but this time, when you go to grab the cards, you're going to push that in Jaga card to the left as you squeeze your fingers in and pick up the deck. So when I go to pick up th um, th these cards, I'm going to be pushing to my left and squeezing that card in. And it's going to create a break. And the top card we're trying to control is this one right here, right under that break. Okay? And then I'm going to pick up the deck all in one action. So if I have this, if I have this card in jogged again, to the left and in, pick up the deck all in one action. Okay? Just really quick. So one more time at speed kind of look like that a little bit um, and that's going to leave the break right where the top stock is right in there uh, so just like that and you should um, you should have the break with your right hand this is the top stock so all you have to do is shuffle up until you get to here at the top stock now one other thing as you pick this packet up you can pick it up so that you push to the left squeeze in and then pick up everything but your first packet because you're going to be shuffling again. Uh, so I do it that way. Anyways, and you're going to, so you shuffle off until you hit the break and you're going to feel when you hit the break because even if you're not looking at the deck, you, you'll you feel when you can't, you're not touching any cards except by this joint and you'll just throw those on top. So now the only thing you didn't actually shuffle is the top stock. Everything else was shuffled. Now, lo and behold, you can control the bottom stock with this and shuffle the de whole deck too, okay? So, let's take the Ace of Hearts, for example. I'll put that on bottom. Uh, and it's pretty much the same moves, but just in a different order, okay? So, it kind of looks like this. And you can see some of the moves happening, but in a different order. And we still have the Ace of Hearts on bottom, okay? Um... So it's pretty much the same thing. You just you take your first packet. This time though, you're gonna take a few more packets normally, and then in jog a card, get it with your pinky, and then throw the rest on top. Okay. Once you get the in jog, you have to throw everything else on top in one chunk. Okay. Um. So again, one more time. You shuffle a bunch of cards. In jog, throw the rest on top. Okay? Uh, this time, though, when you pick up the deck for round two, you're going to pull your hand to the right and squeeze. Like that. And again, you're just pulling your hand to the right instead of the left. Okay? And squeezing. Um, for, the, for the bottom stock shuffle to work, you actually have to include the in jog card in the packet you're shuffling off. Um, because here's our ace of hearts, this isn't part of the bottom stock, okay? Um, that's just, this is just the card we put here to mark the spot we're shuffling to. Um, and another thing, as that card goes in, you're going to have to loosen up, okay, you're going to have to loosen up your hands a bit, so it can just kind of lie flat there. And that will keep the bottom cards on bottom. Um, so just then drop that packet down, now you have your cards on bottom and you put everything else on top. You shuffle off normally on top. 
and you still have your ace of hearts here. Uh, so just to specify, during the first shuffle, uh, whenever card, whatever cards you don't let go of, right after the injog. So you injog. This whole thing is your bottom stock, okay? And you have to place it right after the injog. So right when you decide to put the card in, you have your bottom packet. So just be aware of that. Okay, guys. So that is the Erdne system of blind shuffles. Uh, by blind, uh, he means that they control the cards in some way without the onlookers knowing that. But I remember when I first read it, um, I thought it meant that you should be able to do them without looking. Uh, but I think that's a good standard to put yourself to. If you can do these shuffles without looking, you're set. Um, I mostly do magic tricks. And shuffling the cards without looking at the cards is just another convincer that the cards are truly mixed up. Alright, so have fun with these. Shut up, Papillon. Shut up, Papillon.